Hi, welcome to Selenium Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain how you will handle web tables. Okay. See, I have already written the code. So if you observe the code, see, I'm, I have taken web elements, okay, which I am saving in tables. So all those tables I am going to saving in XPath. I am identifying the web table. Okay, let me show you the website which I have given example. So this is a, these are the tables, web tables. This is a heading. This is a row one, row two, row three, row four. Okay, row four. So in this table, I want to get particular row data. This is a these everything three columns you are seeing which is under one row if you see inspect element with firebug you will see see in this row second row this is a table t body tr1 means table row table row in this one you are seeing three table data this is a column right table heading it's like table heading city 22 carat and 24 carat now i want to print this particular table header names one by one which is under table row which is sec under second row okay here i am dividing first of all i am copying this x path from here okay i have pasted here i am storing in web tables tables in previous my lesson uh, you have uh, learned regarding find element find element method in that one i have explained this web tables web elements tables today i am going to explaining separate web table okay using selenium web driver if you see here i have pasted this x path so by this one i am storing all the web elements okay which is under list java util list with the help of find elements by name tag name tr what are the tr it is given under this table okay under this table how many trs four td okay and coming to td c everything th one okay everything it is given three 3, 4, 5, 6, we count here, 7, 8, okay, another table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, under tr, one more table, total it is giving 14, if you see here, total is tr is 14, why, because it is having two tables under one tr, okay, so I'm counting the size element. It is giving 14. Okay, like this you can handle number of table rows with the help of find element. So you see, I want to print. I want to print particular tr second row table header names one by one. Then what you have to do? See. Let me go to here inspect element with firebug it is having one two three three th table headers names right this one i need to print means three means th of one th of two th of three like this see i will show you one for city th of two for 22 carat th of 3 means 24 carat okay. carat it's like this t1 ct t2 22 carat t3 is a 24 carat okay which is under tr table t body from here tr and tr this is a second row that's why i'm using 
tr2 okay which is under t body from another one is tr1 next one is a tr2 so whatever the elements or data you are seeing ts those are under tr2 under tr2 it will come th1 th of 2 th of 3 so this 1 2 3 i am storing <coughs> in different x paths with the help of for loop see for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to table light this th we need to divide it into three x paths see first second third before that i have saved particular th so here we have three th one two three okay i am saving that count with the help of size find elements by x path i am giving table one see table one up to here is a table one okay this is a table one under t body i am written see t body and the next one is a tr of tr of 2 tr of 2 where i need to find th these are the th1 th2 th now what it will do th up to here th what are the th are there 1 2 3 3 th are there right from this path it will count the size of the th ending element it will give you as a 3 3 ths are there right okay I will show you here this is a table s table st I have stored in table st that is a int why because it is a numeric rest and that's why I have stored in table st in int if you run this one okay if you run this one here i want to show you if you run this one it will show three run as test ng test see total number of table header is 3 ok 3 it will print 3 up to here ok and coming to why I have used first second and third x paths ok I am dividing this particular x path why because th having 3 3 column data 3 if I am giving 3 it will print only one data so that's why I have divided this x path into c up to tr i have written see up to tr up to tr only i have taken next slash th of here i am not mentioning anything and leaving back and third x path i am closing that bracket okay why am i leaving this one see here yeah, i am using int for loop i am <coughs> sorry i am repeating this for loop in order to run that particular for loop until total number of th total number of th is a 3 from 1 to 3 it will run with incremental i plus plus with incremental then it will come into loop x path final x path is first x path okay tr of 2 see i will explain first x path this is the first x path right plus i have given second x path means this one second x path second x path next coming to i i means it first of all it will come as a one so i'm giving as a one next third x path i'm giving as a third x path so here th1 means can see th th1 means th1 means city it will print city it will print city see it will print city 
same like this if i equal to 2 if i equal to 2 what is your x path i will be replaced by 2 2 means th equal to 22 caret see here th of 2 equal to 22 caret th of 2 is equal to 22 caret next i equal to 3 i equal to 3 means what is your uh, x path th will become as a 3 now your 3 is a 24 caret now th 3 is a 24 caret <coughs> so you understood right so in this way I am storing that particular x path final x path in all these three first place second place here i will i it will come i instead of replacing one two three i plus third x path i am giving third x path means closing so i am storing that column names which is the help of my final element by x path this is a th1 final x path get text this get text will get the text of this th of 1 it will print c th of 1 is a t th of 2 is a 22 caret th of 3 is a 24 caret okay this one i need to write uh, before ending after the loop then it will come properly see i am printing column names right Now run this program. You will understand clearly. If you run this program, here only it will see. You can see here printing the number of tier under that table. Okay, after that, see 14 total number of table header is 3. Printing column 1 by 1 CT. 24 carat and 22 carat and 24 carat. TH1 is a city, TH2 is a 22 carat, TH of 2 is a 24 carat. Okay, like this uh, you can print the details one by one. Let me write this here. Like this uh, you can handle your web tables. So if you want to print uh, this column so I just uh, right click on this one this is a tr3 right this is a tr3 this is a tr3 under tr3 td under td it is a data is there next coming to td under td table is there under table t under tr it will be there under td one more table data everything so like this uh, you need to handle tdr thr tr everything with the help of this x paths divided into different different x passes and use that for loop okay <coughs> thank you thank you for watching my video please provide your valuable comments on this uh, video and please uh, follow my videos so that uh, i'm going to giving a real time example with uh, my real time experience okay thank you thank you for watching please like and provide your valuable comments as well as please subscribe for more videos thank you enjoy the day thank you bye